Well, I started when it was um, uh, when it was open sourced at Sun. So it's not that I was there from from day one, but pretty much like I don't know. I think it was half a year later when I, when I started at Sun. Um, it was great. I mean, it was really. Uh, I mean, those were the days, as, as the saying goes, when, when it was such a large project being open sourced. Um, Netscape went open source a few years earlier, and it was, I mean, it was a vast amount of code and a, and a great donation to, to the community. Um, so yeah, initially it was all wonderful and great, and um, people were happy, and um, adoption was picking up and the first releases came out and then some port started um, but over the years um, there was some some complacency and I mean I don't know what well, you all know the story uh, how it ended and, and people started to be a little bit unhappy about the, the dominant role um, of, of this one company there and well when this um, when when the ownership of uh, of the, the company changed and the, the politics changed, um, the community said, well, let's do our own thing that we were promised since day one, but now let's, let's act on that ourselves, because otherwise it just won't happen ever. Um, so yeah, there was a group of people um, coming together uh, from different locations and there were pretty much, I think, three or four centers of gravity who independently of each other decided this is it, um, let's do something about it. And then uh, everything thing came to a head at the, the last open office conference. <coughs> um, and then we went ahead with the with LibreOffice and the Document Foundation. Actually I'm I'm a developer, so I'm I'm working on the I'm working on LibreOffice code. Um, I'm I'm, I, work, I work for CIB, which is um, a wonderful company. Um, we're doing um, all kinds of LibreOffice stuff, migrations, development, um, bug fixing. We also do some extension stuff around that. So yeah, that, that's what I do. And that's my day job. And, and the, um, the, the TDF uh, things that I'm doing in the, the work in the board um, and in the ESC, that's kind of comes to top. Well, I think it's certainly possible. It's not that um, that there would be intimate knowledge. Uh, it's it's a bit like it's a bit like no active knowledge of eight languages. So it's always like well, you kind of know that, but then there's one or two languages that you speak that you use daily, and you you you're much more fluent in that. But if you really then travel somewhere else, and then you pick up the other language pretty quickly, and that's how it's in, in that code base. So you, you have this overall mental model and you work on some part of the code and you get really, really intimate with that and then you work on another part and you get really, really intimate with that and then you can swap and, and, and change that and, and you get fluent reasonably quickly. But it's still quite a beast. So it's, it's um, so really, um, I, we're trying to make it really, really easy to get into that. And if it's a small, I mean, if it's just it's just a function or if it's just a crash, I mean, that's really not hard because the you, you, that's one one file, one one code file that you need. You, you need to you need to to work with the debugger and step around a little bit. So as long as uh, the fix or the problem is very local, um, it's easy or it's as easy or as hard as for any other um, piece of software. When it comes to you know, the you know, changing direction, changing architecture, um, having a problem that's caused by five pieces interacting and then misbehaving, um, that, that's where, where this, this sort of experience is really helping you. Um, yeah. So my view of, of the board, ideally the board is not visible at all. It just keeps the things running smoothly in the background. There's a number of things that needs doing. So, I mean, LibreOffice or Document Foundation is very fortunate that uh, we have lots of uh, very generous donors. So there's some money um, in the bank that needs deciding when and where and how to spend it. 
Um, then there's all this kind of decision-making stuff, all this dealing with the authorities, um, whatever, taxes, and that, that's counting that sort of nonsense that we are not doing, we're not actually doing that on a daily basis anymore. We, we did that in the beginning, um, so I'm quite pleased to say that, that this is now kind of, we have an accountant who does that for us, and um, so that's actually freeing lots of nights um, for me and other directors to do uh, more useful stuff. <coughs> um, yeah, but the board is really so the last line. So if, if there's any any conflict in the community or if there's any problem, trying to to solve that in the in the project. So, so for example, if the engineering uh, the developers have have some issues which we try to either have that discussed like one to one and if that doesn't work then it's discussed in the ESC and I don't think it ever happened that the ESC couldn't come to a conclusion but let's assume that would be the case then the ultimate place to resolve conflict would be the board but we really try hard that this doesn't happen so the board is really pretty much there to to, to crank the handle in the background so that the um, the, the foundation is running and the, 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 the work or but what really matters and what really makes the difference for, for the project is what, what the volunteers do anyway. So the board is not actually doing anything in the sense of um, sitting down and uh, in, in my role as a director I'm not sitting down and code. In my role as a director I make sure that the proper decisions are made and the, pro the project is general direction and, and kind of budgets are approved, etc. I was running the lightning talk session um, and we were kind of introducing one project that we just started. It's about GPG integration in LibreOffice. Um, pretty exciting. Other than that, it's really meeting people and walking around, seeing interesting things, meeting interesting people lots of hallway talks uh, and community really meeting people in person that that's really what what that's the glue what what's keeping the community together the, uh, you, I, you don't need that every day but like once or twice a year it's really 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 great to do that